everyone, this is Matt Rock Solid from Ghostfire Studios and this is going to be uh, my first attempt at a live commentary by myself. Um, whenever I usually do live commentaries I'm usually doing them uh, with like a few people, usually Warren or James, but uh, since as Warren is on holiday and James is currently finishing college, I thought I'd take a crack at it by myself since I'm uh, all alone and my, by myself. Um, Anyway, I think I'm going to try and jump into some squad deathmatch. Hopefully get a good game where I can get some good kills. Because the, on the only problem with live commentaries are the fact that you never know whether the game's going to be any good. So I could be recording this, talk about a topic, and then all of a sudden have a terrible, terrible game and then have to scrap it all. But whatever this game turns out like, I'll probably upload it anyway. Just hold off on the hate. Um, what I was going to talk about is like the YouTube community. It's been done thousands of times, but I mean, there's there's two really really extreme sides to uh, the YouTube community. Sorry, I was trying to get the destruction 2.0 achievement. I'll go with the AEK actually. Haven't used that in a while. Lightweight and Magnamo. And there's two extreme sides to the YouTube community. There's oh for God's sake, <sighs> great way to start a game. There's the people. Well, there's, there's, you know, there's two perspectives in my opinion. I love the community at YouTube. I love YouTube because that's where I post my videos, and it, I just love doing it, and it's so fun. But then I also hate some people in the community that are ruining it for others. The haters, the people who spam everyone. And there's James. What is he doing back from college, early really, while I'm trying to do a live com? Oh dear, he's probably going to be calling me on Skype in a minute and ruining everything. But um. You know, there's the people who hate on videos, and I mean, I don't mind the dislike button being there, because, you know, some videos people make are really terrible hate videos and stuff like that. They deserve to be disliked and flagged and stuff like that. But the people who go around flagging people because, you know, they're more popular than them, or they're jealous of them, or they said something that might they might offend them, and they've got a you know, big fuss around it. It's You know, it's kind of stupid. I mean... A lot of people get some hate. I mean, I'll get a few random dislikes on some of my videos. I'm so nowhere near popular enough to even be considering myself a target of, you know, hate. Uh, that's James calling me on Skype, if you can hear that. I'm so sorry. But the people that hate are quite pathetic. I mean, sure, if the video is worthy of a dislike, press the dislike button. But some of Ken's videos on Machinima... Oh dear, that tank's scary. Um, some of Ken's videos, just because he's not very good at the game and just because he's, you know, doing crap, doesn't mean you should dislike it. I mean, Ken really is very good at what he does. He's really good at commentating. And, sorry, that Skype's really distracting me. If you if you can't hear that, you won't know what I'm on about and I'll just sound like some crazy person. But, um, some of the people on YouTube, it's really ridiculous that they ha get so much hate. Ken's really good at commentating, he's not so good at games, so a lot of people comment on his videos saying, you know, why is this guy on Machinima, you know, if I could be this sh crap at games and commentate, I, I could get on Machinima. He's not crap at games and just good at commentating, he has been commentating since, oh, hello, oh dear. But, I mean, his videos, like his Sunday podcasts and all that stuff, they're really fun to listen to, so... He's a good commentator. So oh, this is really difficult. Get owned. You know, and I mean, I don't think people deserve hate. I mean, some of the videos put up, ooh, the controversy over, you know, G Unit and his fake nuke video and stuff like that. But that still didn't even deserve hate. It, he only did it probably for a laugh. So I don't see what the problem is. I mean, I think that due to the intense popularity of Machinima and Machinima Respawn and you know, the gaming community and a whole with FPSs and Let's Plays and all that stuff. I think people have got such a high standard in uh, video making now that it's, it's difficult to make a video that doesn't get hated on. I mean, before you can make any video and people will enjoy it and it will just be a laugh and then it got to the point where, you know, little kids started watching them and, you know, people get too picky. It's gaming, it's entertainment, it's fun. You shouldn't start hating on people because they're not very good at a game. You listen to their commentary for fun. Sorry, this is extremely difficult to concentrate. I mean, this is actually quite good. I mean, I actually think I'm doing better commentating over a game I'm playing than I actually do when I'm actually playing. Sorry, I really need to get this. Go oh, 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 can I get some dog tags? Can I get some dog tags? Can I please get some dog tags? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't save you. I am so sorry, Benny. 1393. But, um... 
Yeah, I think it's the intense popularity. There's always going to be the people that get disappointed by a video, no matter how many people or how good it is. There's always going to be the people that get, you know, annoyed or dislike it because it's popular. And I mean, it really is ridiculous. Oh, God, people with Sagas. Ninjas with Sagas, should I say. Ninja Jesus. Well, anyway, we lost. The match lasts for about five minutes. I just wanted to get that out there. It was kind of, I'll do a... Um, a longer live commentary on it some other time, but uh, I was hoping to get in the game earlier. I went 93, not bad. I did pretty well. But um, if you want to hear my full thoughts, which you know is probably going to be in a commentary which isn't live, so I can actually talk properly without getting distracted by Ninja Jesus with the Sega. If you want to hear my full thoughts on the YouTube community, just leave a comment and I'll uh, I'll make a proper commentary rather than a live com. I just wanted to get a commentary out. Really, I haven't done one for a while, and I just felt like doing one. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I make a video. Thanks for watching guys, as you may or may not know and if you create videos, um, I put in around about 3-4 to four hours per video I put out, so I would, mu I would be very appreciative if you could leave a like to show that you enjoy my videos and that the quality and the audio quality of my commentaries and HD videos are almost as sexy as Anna Torv. Thanks for watching guys. See